Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 4th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick weather update here. Observing satellite imagery from Zoom Earth at all the tropical systems that are spinning around the planet right now, and there are 10. And we've got a doozy that could be developing here in the next seven days. 40% chance already at a disturbance that is created on the western side of Africa. We've also got a tropical storm and Dexter moving through the North Atlantic right now, and that's going to ride the jet stream straight up into the United Kingdom. Area of interest here, south of Mexico. We've also got Invest Area 90 moving through Central Pacific. Post-tropical cyclone Gill heading west towards Hawaii. And then west of Hawaii, we've got Tropical Depression Iona. Invest Area 95W, Tropical Storm Krosa, as well as Tropical Storm Belu, up into the South China Sea, moving towards the Koreas, Remnant Low Komei, and then, and then another tropical system here, Invest 90. 90 s so that's 10 tropical systems right now across our planet and eight of them are in the pacific ocean things are really ramping up around the world and look at the massive dust storm that is forming here around the region of the investigation area which will be a major tropical storm massive low pressure system here moving through the hudson bay with all the wildfire smoke Hundreds of wildfires burning across the Canadian prairies right now, and as well Northwest Territories. Stay safe, stay healthy, aware and prepared. Listen to your local radio stations. Air quality is going to get really, really bad. Look at that just from yesterday, August 3rd. About 50 new fires breaking out. Manitoba and Northern Ontario completely smoked out across the prairies and some pretty extreme weather riding through Alberta just yesterday. Multiple funnel clouds being reported and most likely a couple touchdowns of tornadoes could be confirmed. Satellite imagery around the world, it looks dirty. It looks wet. It looks smoky. We are going through some major earth changes together, folks. But check this out. So volcanoes, we've been talking about them. Record 80 volcanoes erupting around the world. I zoomed into Indonesia here. I want to show you three major volcanoes. Rung, Ruan, and I'm not sure about this one, but look at the caldera of it just from satellite imagery. But all these three volcanoes erupted yesterday at the same time. Looking at satellite imagery, this was the same time that Luatobi, east of here, had a major eruption as well. So four volcanoes through Indonesia were erupting at the same time. At the break of dawn yesterday for the region. Having a look here, watch. The pyroclastic clouds pile up right over top of where these volcanoes are. 80 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. And now these major volcanoes through Indonesia are popping off simultaneously. Magnetic reversal, solar cycles. We're going through some great changes. We've seen the North Pole gravitate more quickly than it has in the past 50 years, just in the past five years. It's accelerating. We're going to have new jet streams. We're going to see some major climactic shifts with our weather, with volcanoes, and earthquakes. This is why I started my channel back in 2016, or 2017, so eight years now I've been broadcasting. And this is the kind of stuff I was talking about back when I started. It's all unfolding before our eyes. Northern Hemisphere is going to be inundated by cloud cover. 
and we will probably head into our first volcanic winter. Coming up 2025 into 2026, we're going to see some major changes. And a lot of people are going to be wondering where our global warming is. when Most of the northern hemisphere gets enveloped by the new mini ice age. The changes are happening. It's here. It's evident. Look at the cloud cover across the northern hemisphere right now. Southern hemisphere polar vortex is creating temperatures in Antarctica, minus 70 degrees Celsius and colder. I think we're going to see some major cold records broken this year and as well snowpack. And speaking of snowpack, we had quite a large amount of snowfall across the Rockies and across North America last year. And we've seen some extreme weather breaking out all across Canada as all of this snow evaporates daily. The storms off the foothills have been amazing and deadly. Now, something else I wanted to share here with you Back on the 31st, when we had that large 8.8 .8 earthquake off the coast of Kamchatka, it was just off the peninsula here. There was a large, deep, lower level low heading through the region. At the same time, another low from the west crashed into each other right at the converging point of where the epicenter of the 8.8 .8 earthquake was. Atmospheric compression earthquakes, when you've got dense, massive low-pressure systems on the surface of our planet, even if it's over the water, it's still pressure. Think of the weight that is up there pushing on our surface. We are growing, and the sun is helping. The cosmic ray influx over the past five years with our collapse, collapsed magnetosphere is increasing the extreme weather tenfold. Just wait. We ain't seen nothing yet. August is going to be a crazy month, especially across Canada if these wildfires keep up. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that will and are being affected by these massive storms and wildfires across Canada. Something else I wanted to point out here with you, the low pressure system coming from the Hudson Bay, which literally created a clear swath and as well, a lower level ice fog across Manitoba and the Northwest Territories through Nunavut. Crazy days, everybody. Much love. Please like and share today. A lot going on. And I love you all. Stay safe and healthy, aware and prepared.